hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are all doing okay so today this video is going live on a saturday morning so i thought i would tailor it to the weekend ahead and this is all about weekend outfit ideas so kind of smart casual if you're going out and about shopping um, having something to eat out. Um, here in England, the weather is not looking too good. So I will include some slightly more cooler weather outfits, but also I'm kind of over it and I just want to dress for spring now. So I'm going to be showing spring outfits and I know so many of you watch from different countries. So yeah, I'm just going to tailor it to spring weather and dress for the weather I want, not the weather I have. So yeah, just gonna talk you through the outfits, um, show you what I'm wearing and why, hopefully give you some nice outfit inspo. And don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying my videos. Right, that has been said, let's get on with the video. So outfit number one is just a really nice one, chilled, daytime, smart, casual look and with a little bit of layering as well, which I really like. So I've got these jeans on. Now this is a really good follow on from my previous video. So my previous video was all about five pieces, kind of five unworn pieces in my wardrobe. And these jeans are one of them. And I basically have kind of rediscovered them. And now I feel like I'll be pulling them out quite a lot. So it's a nice little follow on from that because in that video I showed you two ways to wear. Um, so this is just showing you an extra option for these jeans. And as always, everything will be linked below. These are from New In and I believe they are still available. And so I paired it just really casually with my Amazon flats. I really like these kind of ballet flats with a kind of straight leg slouchier style jean. Um, and then oversized shirt. This one is from Oasis as is the just kind of tank top underneath. So just a nice bit of layering. If you are sat outside and it's sunny, you can take a couple of layers off and then maybe take the shirt off, put the blazer back on or over your shoulders. There's a few ways you can kind of work with this, especially if you're kind of sat outside. Um, and my little Chloe bag, it just kind of turns in really nicely with this blazer from The Curated and my Taylor Morris sunglasses. And of course, all jewelry is from my collection with North School. So this is outfit number one. I don't think it's meant to be a set because this uh, shirt actually comes with matching shorts. It's from Marquette, it's from last year. However, they've brought it out again. It was such a good piece last year. I wore it so much, so I highly, highly, highly recommend purchasing something like this. I know H&M also do a really similar version, um, so I'll try and link them both below if they're still around and in stock. But to have like, oh, I'll just show you. Um, it's like a sleeveless, baggy sleeved, dark linen shirt. It looks so nice on holiday. You can dress it up whilst it still looks casual. So you can pair it with some big earrings, some nice sandals for the evening, red lipstick on holiday, um, but then wear it casually like this. So I've got the linen trousers on also from Marquette. I absolutely love this style of linen trouser. Grandson chunky sandals. I really, really like for summer black and browns and black and tans together. I think it's a really nice combination that people don't often wear. Um, my Arquette bag and then this jacket is from 12 Stories from last year. So I'm not sure if it's still in stock again. Um, and then belt again is from last year from Zara could have even been the year before, so I'll try and find something similar. But yeah, I really like the color combination. It's nice and casual. If it comes a bit warmer, you can take the jacket off and it's still a really chic outfit underneath. I think the linen fabrics um, make this casual um, and a bit off duty, but then you can smarten it all up with the accessories.
but it's definitely a bit more of a cooler, slightly more rainy day maybe. Um, definitely more appropriate for this weather we're experiencing at the moment. Um, so I've got these new jeans on. So these are from Reese and I really like this style. They're like kind of a pa almost paper bag, but they're really, really comfortable, a really nice fit. They're really good quality. They come with this cute little side zip thing here. Um, and they're just a nice one. You could dress them up, you could dress them down. Um, but I love white jeans in summer and I think these are a really, really nice pair to have. Um, and they're slightly off-white as well, so they're not really stark, like, bluey white. They're slightly more creamy white. Um, and then this knit, I've got, like, a collared knit on from Everlane. Um, again, just to add a bit of warmth, you could even put a t-shirt under this. My Pixie Market leather trench, but you could also put with this maybe a lighter beige trench um, if you wanted to bring a slightly lighter tone in with it. Um, my Adidas Continental and my Bottega bag. But like I say, you can play around with this structure of outfit and do something very similar. You could swap the shoes with some sandals or some ballet flats, or you could swap the trench around or a light color top. So there are different variations you can create of this outfit. But it's just a nice one for wandering around in, a little bit of warmth, um, but still quite smart and casual at the same time. smarter end of the spectrum however you could definitely dress this down by wearing instead of the blazer swap it out for a denim or a trench coat um, that lighter color denim that I was wearing before would look really nice with this but I thought if you are going out in the daytime out and about nice lunch planned um, and wanted that really nice smart casual balance I feel like this would be a good one to go for so I've got this midi dress again 12 stories from last year um, but I'll try and find something uh, similar where possible. This blazer is from Pixie Market. It's got a bit of structure to it, structured shoulders and a slightly nipped in waist. It's a little bit 80s style, but I thought it just kind of gave it a bit of pizzazz. My Paul M Paris bag and the sandals both dress it down because otherwise it would be quite a formal outfit. And if you did want to dress this up, you could swap out the mango uh, chunky sandals for a strappy heel and a different kind of bag. Or with the Palem bag, it actually comes with a shoulder strap, so you could wear it more over the shoulder with some strappy heels, and you have more of an evening spring look. So yeah, really, really like this one for a more formal occasion. olivey khaki look I'm really into my green hues at the minute um, and I think it's just a nice stray away from beiges or neutrals if you want to go for something different but still want a color that will go with all of those things then look for khakis olives any kind of green works really nicely with your neutrals so I'm wearing this new hoodie also from Reese it's really comfortable really soft and a really great color and then these me and M cargo trousers this is just such a relaxed easy one to throw on and I always say if you are wearing a very relaxed style of outfit hoodie cargo trousers trench coat um, then make sure you kind of have an element that elevates it and I think what elevates this is that it's all tonal um, in that same kind of olivey colour. This to me looks a lot better than if it was kind of mismatched like greys and black or whatever. This kind of elevates it a lot more. I've got my Gucci loafers on which again have that slight um, greener hue and um, my sauna new york trench i think this one is sold out but i'll find something similar and then my chloe bag which is of course it's on the same line and my jewel boutique sunglasses so yeah really big fan of this outfit and i think these greens lend themselves well to 
gold jewellery and accessories too. jumpsuit especially when it's a denim one I just find it works so well casually and I really like this one with it not being like a like a blue denim it's a um, what color would you call this like a stone kind of color this is from a brand called current air and you could definitely dress this up or down it looks really nice with loafers as well my backless loafers um, it would look really nice with some sandals or you could dress it up with a pair of heels and a bit more of an evening kind of bag for a smart casual evening look maybe pop a red lip on with it um, but I really like this denim jumpsuit look and what you could do is get a leather jacket or something and you could just pop that over the top if you wanted a little bit of extra warmth so I've got this with my Demelier bag um, my Adidas Stan Smiths, just for a nice casual um, daytime look. another kind of tonal look and I've got this gilet on from H&M. I'll try and get the link but it seemed to have kind of removed the link from the H&M website. You can only find it through their tracking number um, so I'll kind of try and search for it and see if I can leave it in case it comes back in stock or it might be stopped in stock in another country so I'll try it that way and see what happens um, but it's a, just a really nice padded shoulder gilet and I love the fact that you've got the um, extra layer of warmth because for me that is crucial and then I've got this kind of terry cloth um, sweatshirt on from AYM and then I've got my under the stories jeans on these are slightly more of a straighter leg than the Reese ones slightly more of a darker shade of white and I just felt like these suited this outfit a bit better my Amazon flats again Bottega bag and my jewel boutique sunny so you could wear it like this with um, the gilet open or we could do it kind of without the tie and just kind of wear it casually as a bit more of a jacket like this but I think a gilet of any description is a really useful piece to have in your spring summer wardrobe. because I didn't plan on wearing this but I put these leather trousers on again this is a nod to my previous video because I kept saying that I've not worn these um, and I wanted to experiment with ways to wear them I even had the tag on them in the last video and I bought them a couple of months ago so that's how much I've worn them so now I'm pulling them out and that video really encouraged me to do that if you haven't watched it yet go and have a look because I think it'll really inspire you to do the same in your wardrobe and pull out some older pieces. Um, so I've got them on again and I just kept them on basically with the outfit I've had on before. So um, I really like these complementing tonal warm beiges. These are obviously all a slightly warmer tone. I don't think like a taupe or a stone would go as well um, or anything more of a grey beige. But because they're all very warm tones, they match well together. So I thought I'd just show you this one but now I'm going to show you um, these trousers with the outfit I originally planned. So this is the final look that I wanted to show you. I kept the same top on, but I think any top would sort of go with this. Any black top, a white top would go with this, 
or just a light neutral top. And I've got this under the stories oversized black blazer on just to balance out the leggings and then my chunky black sandals again. If you didn't watch my shoe video, um, this is kind of the sandwich rule I was talking about, where you have the heavy on the bottom, the skinnier in the middle, and then the heavier on top to balance out your proportions and your eye level. Um, so I've gone for that here, pull and bag just to dress it down. And again, the sandals in the bag just bring it right down, even though we've got quite a smart blazer on. Just those two juxtaposing styles kind of create that nice, smart, casual contrast. So yeah, this is my final look. for watching i hope that is giving you some ideas you can press play on this saturday morning um, and hopefully it'll give you some inspo for the two nice days ahead that we have off and also just some nice smart casual outfit inspo going forward so thanks so much for watching if you did enjoy press that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye